Instagram and I am your city tour guide. My job is to show you all around the city and introduce you to some of the amazing heroes who make our city great. So let's look at the map and we'll point to some of my favorite places in our city. The star on the map tells us where we are. So if you see the star, point to it. That's right, the star is located in the park. And also in our city, we have a school. If you can find the school, point to it. Great job, and there's a fire station too. And oh, my favorite place of all is the donut shop. Can you find the donut shop? That is where I get my coffee every morning. There are so many exciting things to see and do around our city, but the best part is the people you will meet. So are we ready to go explore the city and meet the people who live here? That's awesome. So before we hop on the bus, there are two city rules you need to know. So everybody hold up one finger because number one rule is be kind. So say be kind. That's it and we can be kind by staying quiet and listening while others are talking. So if you can be kind by listening, say shh. That's great. Now rule number two is to be safe. So everyone hold up two fingers and say be safe. And we can be safe by keeping our hands to ourselves. So let's give a clap and put them down in our laps. That's perfect. Today we're gonna to visit another one of the places we mentioned earlier, the fire station. Let's see if we can figure out who we will see at the fire station. These are some of the everyday heroes in our city. The firefighter is a hero who works at the fire station. And the construction worker is a hero who helps build at the construction site. The police officer is a hero who works at the police station. So which one of these do you think we will see at the fire station? That's right, at the fire station, the firefighters wait for a call, letting them know there's an emergency. All right, everyone, let's hop on the bus and go meet one of them now. So everybody roll your hands like the wheels on the bus and get ready to sing. My name is Felicia and I'm a firefighter here in our city. My job is to help put out fires and help with any emergency our citizens may have. Fighting fires can be very dangerous if I'm not wearing my special armor that helps keep me safe while I do my job. Like my helmet that protects my head and helps me breathe clean air when there's a lot of smoke. I also wear a big jacket to protect me from the flames. But there's an invisible armor that I wear every day, and it's more powerful than anything in my firefighter's gear. It's called the Armor of God. I can't do anything well without the shield of faith from God's armor. It helps me remember that God promises to be with me and take care of me. There's a verse from the Bible that helps me remember to hold up the shield of faith and put on all of God's armor every day. Let me hear you say it after me. Put on all, put on all, of God's, of God's, armor, armor. Ephesians 6, 11. Ephesians 6, 11. That's it. Here in the city, we sing a song to help us remember all the pieces of God's armor that we need to put on every day. Stand up and sing it now. The armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me Put on the belt of truth My goodness boots Getting dressed and ready to go The shield of faith The sword I raise God's word is what I know With all my might I'll do what's right With the armor of godliness My helmet's on My salvation Now I can stand strong and pray Cause the armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me Put on the belt of truth My good news boots Getting dressed and ready to go The shield of faith The sword I raise God's word is what I know 
singing that song. Now go ahead and take a seat. One of my favorite pieces of the armor of God is the sword of the Spirit. The Bible is the sword of the Spirit. Would you like to hear a story from the Bible? Yes! Great! Let's all get ready for the story by clicking on our listening ears. Click! Click! click. Now, let's put on our special eyes. Zoop! One day, Jesus said to his friends, let's get in the boat and sail to the other side. So they got in the boat and began to row on the water. Let's all pretend to row like Jesus' friends. Row! 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 row. <laughs> Great job! Jesus had been teaching all day and he was tired. So he laid down in the boat and went to sleep. Friends, can you pretend to sleep like Jesus? Now wake up! All of a sudden, the wind began to blow really hard. Then the waves started splashing so high. Jesus' friends were so scared. They ran to where Jesus was sleeping and shouted for him to wake up. On the count of three, let me hear you shout, wake up! One, two, three! Wake up! That's it! They wanted Jesus to wake up because they were scared their boat was about to sink. Jesus woke up and said to the wind and the waves, be quiet, be still. Amazingly, the wind and the waves went away. The water was calm and quiet. Jesus asked his friends, Why are you so afraid? Don't you have any faith? As they sailed away, Jesus' friends were no longer scared because they knew that they could trust Jesus to take care of them, even when things seemed scary. Every time we put on God's armor, we have the power to be an everyday hero. When we hold up the shield of faith, we are trusting that God will always be with us and take care of us, because that's what He promises to do. So, let me hear you say this after me. Hold up. Hold up. The shield of faith. The shield of faith. You've got it. When you put on all of God's armor and pray, You'll be strong enough to stand up to any evil that comes your way. Thank you. Thanks, Firefighter Felicia. She's right. All the citizens in our city can hold up the shield of faith and show that they trust God always and He will take care of them. So repeat after me. Hold up the shield of faith. And look, the map is showing us that someone in our city needs help. Let's check in and see how we can help. This is Carlos. He's at school and it looks like they are having a fire drill. That's when the fire alarm goes off and you practice what to do if there was a real fire. Do you think Carlos looks scared or excited? Carlos is scared because the fire alarm is so loud. The firefighter Felicia told us the story from the Bible that may help Carlos. Did firefighter Felicia say that God promises to always be with us and take care of us? You've got it, and we can trust that God is always with us and always taking care of us, because that's what he promises to do. And it looks like Carlos has most of God's armor on, but he is missing one important piece. Friends, which piece of God's armor is Carlos missing? The shield of faith or the armor of godliness? 
That's right, Carlos needs his shield of faith to remember he can trust and have faith that God is with him and will take care of him when he is scared. I think we need to remind Carlos to put on the shield of faith. Hold up the shield of faith. Look at that, Carlos held up his shield of faith and now he's an everyday hero, just like firefighter Felicia. God's armor will help Carlos have faith and trust that God is with him, even when he feels scared. God's armor helps us all to stand strong and not give up when things seem too hard. And there's a song that helps us remember to not give up. So let's all get ready to stand and sing it together.